music. Dick Taylor, Wendy Smith in studio. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hey, good, Mom. good. Why are you always picking on me? <laughs> and singing for us off the air. Yeah. Charlie Brown. Yeah. On the coasters. I like the coasters. Uh, what's going on, gang? What's you, what y'all been up to lately? Well, we had our meeting yesterday, and we finished off our retreat. Good. That's right. We had talked. Very we had cool. uh, a two couple, hours in the morning there. yesterday morning to finish off our retreat, which we did. And a lot of good discussions. Uh, looked at some stuff. One of the questions that we had is for in our retreat planning was is what do we want the port of Shelton to be? Sure. Do we we want to be like the port of Benton? Do we want to be like the port of Walla Walla? Before because before you they've go had. On, uh, let me ask you this: Do you have any baselines from the Washington public ports or any charters for the state that at a at a bare minimum? The port of Shelton has to blank. No, no none of that. So no, so canvas. No. It's on our own. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know, there was several eastern Washington ports that have been very successful, and and uh, southern ports. So, but and in the end, we want to be the port of Shelton. Yeah. We don't want to be the port of Walla Walla. We don't want to be the port of Benton. And what do we mean by being the port of Shelton? And and. My well, our idea was that uh, we want to be the economic driver for the for Mason County for the community, and and we are the only municipal government that's set up to do that. Yeah. That's our purpose is to be an economic force in the community. So how are we going to do that? So we talked about various ways of of looking at our projects, prior prioritizing our projects that we have. And what came to the top of the list was is the prior the projects that have priority are those that create jobs and uh, business yeah. in the community. So there are a lot of things that are going on in the community that that uh, people want us to participate in, but they're not they're not uh, creating jobs. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, and and we want to create jobs. That's what we're there for. We're up to around what nine hundred jobs now. On Pretty the darn port, close, if not over. Yeah, 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 right around 900 yeah. jobs, and I said, yeah, a little while ago, I said my goal was is that in my two terms, I wanted in my first two terms, I wanted to uh, get to a thousand jobs. So we're we got to get going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> almost there. Yeah. We got another two years to go, or a year and a half to go. Those are so some aggressive goals, uh, and the fact that you have gotten close on those has got to be pretty nice. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, and then we also discussed, you know, we we went in minute detail. How to finance things and where we are financially, and uh, well, that's really exciting conversations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have, and you know, and, and reams of paperwork and charts <laughs> and uh, spreadsheets. Oh Lord! So that's fine. We're getting there. <laughs> We've got it. We got about a four million dollar surplus right now that we're trying to—not surplus, but in the bank. In the bank yeah, that nice. that we can use for projects and what have you. So we're oh, trying cool. to decide where we want to, where we want to use that to the best advantage for the, for the people of uh, the port district. And that could be either more incubator buildings or right. more larger scale buildings, so people right. can move mm -hmm. into those larger right. buildings. And then we talk often about the folks that you have on property now that have just uh, over the years grown and grown right. immensely and how right. you've had and to, they need more, to yeah. find places for them. Right, and they need more space. So what I think the message that as staff we wanted to get across was just because we have been fiscally responsible and have the money in the bank doesn't mean we should be fiscally irresponsible in how we spend that money, yeah. meaning um, there's projects out there that need to happen that maybe aren't going to create those jobs and aren't going to um, build on our future um, business community. And so we need to make some tough decisions on um, should we be in that business. Mm -hmm. um, so from that, we kind of um, then we went rolled into our um, regular meeting and we actually, the commission approved our next curb project, curb, right, um, right. the resolution for that, um, partnering with Belco um, to build a building. And that will, I think they're, they're estimating um, when the building opens, it'll be 35 jobs. So that's the kind of thing that's that nice. we yeah. want to do. Yeah. Um, and then 
in conjunction with that, um, part of our meeting was spent um, setting some dates for some upcoming community um, type right. meetings where we're going to kind of town hall type meetings where we're going to ask our, you know, our taxpayers or anyone in the community that wants to come to kind of give their opinion on, you know, different projects. And we'll, we'll let more on as that lays out. Right. The first one will be April 3rd at our regular meeting, and then we'll do an evening meeting and a Saturday meeting to allow, you know, for people that can't come during the day. But um, to start that process of just kind of um, getting our arms around, you know, what, what business should we be in? Where should we be taking this? What, what grows the economy? Um, so... Because one of the things the board decided yesterday, you know, just on a board, not a not an official decision, but just, you know, we wrote stuff on the board. And what do we not want to be? Um, we don't want to be stagnant. We don't want to be divisive. You know, we want to, you know, keep we moving ahead. We want to be inclusive. Yeah. So, hmm. so good stuff. Yeah. It's nice to be able to be at a point in operation where you can kind of step back a little bit mm -hmm. and look at some of those broader picture items right it's right. not running to try to put out this fire and then oh this one popped yep. up over here and, yep. and you're constantly struggling to just stay afloat here yep. you're, you're able to look big picture and yep. how yeah. you're best going to be able to help yep. that's right. cool yep. that's really good that's, that's a really lot of cool. good hard work on the on the back end by a great staff right dick amen amen <laughs> very cool yeah it's good stuff all right well so, i like it good news yeah, then coming yeah. out of the port more folks coming up there. I was, we we're just talking about how nice the weather is and things like that. And uh, people up there enjoying the marina. Absolutely. Yeah, and then up at Sanderson Field. Absolutely. More, uh, yeah. Marina, maybe not so much yet, just based on, you know, it's still it pretty chilly. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cold. <laughs> really but out. it does bring a lot of skydivers, and yeah. the pilots usually get out when it's weather like this. Yeah, you yeah. hear lots of aircraft. Yeah, over that's the weekend. good. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, there was a couple. Oh, yeah. I saw the Chinook, I think, on well, it's Friday. It's going to be 64 on Sunday. So. Oh, Is it really? Nice oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Real nice. The love top's it. coming yeah, off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that time. Oh, All right, we'll it. dive uh, surface on out of here as it's another great conversation with the Port of Shelton and Dick Taylor and Wendy Smith. Thank y'all. Thank you. I do want to oh. mention the article that Oh, was yeah, that's right. You guys were just in Thurston mm. Talk. Yeah, Thurston's, Thurstontalk.com. Go on there. There's a great article about you guys. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Terry yes. and Wendy. There's a picture of Wendy, too. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. Good for you guys yeah. getting some accolades in the community.